I love the internet of things, and the Wemo switch is no exception. My brother-in-law wanted to control his front gate with this thing, but it was only controlled by a low voltage system. Since these things are designed to switch standard household power, I had to make a modification. Standard household voltage is around 120 volts AC, and the gate control voltage is around 12 volts AC. Start by prying the sucker open with the flattest flathead you can find. Once you get to one side, do the same thing for the other. Push the wires through as you go. There are three screws. Remove these and put them in a safe place. Remove the board by pulling on it and pushing the wires through. It takes a little doing. Take the tape off and find the relay. That's the important part here. Here's what it looks like. Look up this part number for a data sheet. Using a multimeter, I did a continuity test to see what was connected to what. I had to cut a trace which connected the relay to the input line voltage. I also had to cut a trace on the top side. I did another continuity test to make sure it was truly cut. It was. To isolate the output portion, I had to cut two more traces on the bottom and top. And then I did another continuity test. Using some nippers, I cut the output wire. Then I sacrificed some spare wire and had to make two new wires. I'm utilizing one of the mounting holes for the output wire. Thread this guy through and solder it to the output trace. Here's where it gets a little tricky. For the input wire, I bent it to fit over the edge of the board. So form it, then solder it. It's a good idea to test at this point. I did a continuity test across the new switching leads. Since I sacrificed one of the mounting holes, I had to make room for the new wire configuration. I cut off one of the mounting features of the housing and drilled a new hole. I also opened up the existing hole just a smidge. Feed all the wires back through the appropriate holes. It's going to be a tight fit because of the output wire on the side of the board. Just take your time. Press the board back in, install two screws, and press it all back together. Now it's complete. Since it's just a relay that's doing the switching, you could switch either AC or DC voltage. Just keep it under 15 amps. 